Hey, welcome. I'm Rich from Trapping Inc. TV. This is my review on a new product that we've been uh, working with. Uh, this is the Range Road Enterprises 27 ton wood splitter. Now, before anybody wants to ask what my qualifications are, I'll, I'll give it to you. I've been doing this a very, very long time. And I've been splitting wood since, uh, since I was probably 10, which is longer than I care to confess. I have the complete collection of all kinds of axes and splitters and wedges and more axes and more splitters and I have an even bigger collection out at the uh, trap line at the cabin. I know what to do with an axe and there was a time I was pretty damn proud of my abilities with an axe. Range Road Enterprises which is an Alberta Canada company but they have distributors right across Canada and, and throughout the United States. They're new. They uh, started up in 2011, built their first splitter then and started selling them. They're kind of like me. They were getting a little bit longer in the tooth and, and uh, the back isn't where it used to be anymore. You know, when we're 18, we're immortal, we're gonna live for forever. And we abuse the heck out of our, of our bodies. I'm paying for it now and uh, we use a lot of wood, both on the trap line and uh, we use it to supplement heating in, uh, in our home. And I'm just looking for easier, things that are easier, faster, and so I've been really been very interested in splitters. This is, like I said, from Range Road Enterprises, and this is their biggest model. This is the uh, 27 ton. As I've looked through the different uh, models and features and, and makes and manufacturers out there, I've done my research a lot. Quickly realized that one, there's a great big huge spread in prices, and there's also a great big huge spread in quality. I guess the first thing I have to talk about is functionality. There's a couple things that were important to me when I was looking at a splitter. Uh, the wood that we burn in our house is usually birch. And around here, it's pretty easy to get birch that big. Uh, that's a very, very heavy block. And to actually lift it up here to, 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 to uh, split it wasn't gonna work. So I either was looking for models that had a lifting arm or models like this that actually tilt. Now this was important to me. Okay, the fact that it, it'll, it, it'll tilt up it allows me to put that, that uh, big log down there and, and give it one, one or two splits, whatever it takes so I can handle it. Uh, that was a very important functionality. The other thing that was important was, was the maneuverability. You know, this doesn't uh, need to be supported in any other way. Its own stand is plenty. You can see even with, with it being tilted up or tilted down. The fact that it is rated to be towed on the highway, if you want. Uh, I mean, it's like any any other other unit that uh, you know is is weight heavy in the back. You want to be careful about get going too fast. But the uh, axles, bearings, and everything else are rated for for going 60 miles an hour. One thing that was really important to the guys who started Range Road was they wanted it to be useful to the average everyday guy. So all of their units, whether it's their splitters or their wood processors or anything, are all towable by a quad of 400 to 450 cc. You don't have to have a giant machine and you can tow it anywhere. Or one of the options you can get on, on some of the units is all-terrain tires. So if you're in a very wet area, like I am, you can get all-terrain tires and uh, I've got some coming <laughs> so that I can get around and, and, and pull it easily. Some of the, uh, the neat features. One of the first things that I did was I took this unit to a buddy who's a welder. And I said, you know, you probably repair a lot of splitters. And he says he does. And I said, so tell me what you repair. Here's the first thing he pointed out. This, this bed here, the working platform, is a solid uh, forged I-beam. Okay? This is not welded together, uh, three pieces welded together, anything to, to save weight or, or, or uh, expense. It's solid. He says he fixes a lot of this stuff. On, on some units. The other place that he fixes is back here. But this being being welded onto that, that solid I-beam is good and solid. I mean, these are not lightweight and yet they're not excessive. You can move them around by hand. I mean, even I can, it's, it's, not, a, uh, it's not a big deal. But it was important that uh, you could take it to where the wood was. Lots of times when you're doing work with wood, uh, by the time you, you cut it and uh, you know you fall it down, you bucket and you, you throw it in a vehicle to, to take it home or whatever, that's most of the work. If you have the splitter with you, you can do all that work right there. 
other neat things, we got lots and lots of power, nine horse uh, Honda clone motor. Uh, just means that any Honda dealership I can work on it and uh, other than being painted black, it's a Honda. And it works very well. Your uh, hydraulic tank is down here. So it's down where uh, it creates a, a low center of gravity, which helps you with your towing. And you've got a, you've got a sight glass and it tells you, you know, your levels of, uh, of your oil, easy to check. You've got a uh, filter over here and it's a stainless steel filter. I'm told that it should never need replacing for the life of the, of the unit. There's just no reason for that oil to get dirty unless you get a leaking and uh, you know get water and whatever. You have to be careful because this is a breather here and if you were to submerge it you could put put water inside your, your oil tank. Other than that the only maintenance that you look at is making sure that things stay tight. Change the oil once on this after the first 10 hours and this has had its first change because I've been using it a lot. That's it. Away you go. Okay big argument all the time is between kinetic splitters and hydraulic splitters and it's about speed. Now Range Road makes both. Uh, they have a seven ton kinetic splitter and this is, this is the 27 ton hydraulic splitter. I can't believe how fast this is. You know, uh, your infeed is, uh, you gotta keep it, it pushed forward for your infeed until it splits. Once you release and you push back, it locks back and it, and it uh, brings, brings your ram back on its own. In that time, you can throw off what you split, you can put another piece on there to get ready for the, for the next stroke for splitting. I found that I can't keep up to the machine. I don't know why I need anything any faster. They say a full stroke on it is six to eight seconds, depending on how heavy the split is. I don't know, it could be faster than that. It's a two-speed ram, and I'm not sure I fully understand how it works, something about sleeves and everything inside inside the ram, but you watch it when it's splitting, it actually goes in quite fast, and then about the time when things should be getting tough, it actually slows down, and then it, it and finishes it, its split. So the two-speed ram makes a big difference. I have used other splitters before, hydraulic splitters that were so slow, you could retire, you could have coffee, you know, between strokes. Not this, this, this works awesome. When it comes to power, everybody talks, you know, everybody wants to know about power. And out there on the market, there's ones that run 12, 15 horse motors. There are ones that claim 45, 47 tons worth of, of splitting power. I've used them anywhere from, I think the smallest I've used was uh, 17 horse, or pardon me, 17 ton, and uh, up to 35 ton. Once you get over that 20 ton, I've never stalled one. Um, and some, some seem like they, they punch way above their weight class. I think it's probably because there are no laws or rules or regulations on what constitutes 27 tons, what constitutes 30 tons, you know what I mean? And I know that this at 27 tons is in the, the league with the 35 ton ones. It uh, competes against them. It never stalled once. I purposely split a lot of big birch. Now this, this birch was left over from the winter time. It was stuff I couldn't split by ax. Like, I mean, even in 40 below, I would go out and I would bounce a, a splitting mall off it because you, you have, you know, uh, a, a big, branch would come off and so you've got that that uh, combined grain in there and it's just impossible to split sometimes you just end up chiseling it apart basically I took and used this and I purposely went backwards against the grain you know like when you're splitting the easiest way to split is is if you're if you're splitting from the base of the tree right so if you're if, if your branches are like this you would put them down and then you split from the base and that makes it the easiest split it the other way is much harder I did that purposely with this on that birch a hardwood that's a, that's the toughest wood we've got around here and it never never stalled it. it it slowed it down a couple times but it never stalled it and I was so very impressed so when you're looking at at, at the ratings of them you got to take a look at uh, at other things that I think are more important than how big uh, of a rating it has I think that uh, the size of, of the motor that runs the pump is important. I think that the speed of your, uh, of your stroke is important. And then other than that, it's up, up to the versatility fitting you. Can you drag it along behind you? Is, you know, does, does it fit your, your needs in that?
I have to say that I am extremely impressed with, with this unit. I've used lots of them and sometimes it got so that when you got into the smaller stuff it was more effort to use a splitter than to, than to use the axe. Like I was faster with the axe. But I don't have that with this because of its splitting speed. You know, I mean a stroke every six seconds, you just can't get, get any better than that. And I mean, I still have to, if I'm using an axe or using this, I still gotta bend over, set up that block or whatever, or bend over and put it on here. Uh, I, I split, uh, now, I guess the longest run I had on this, since I've had this here, was about five, five cords, something like that. And, you know, that, that was seven hours straight of, uh, of splitting, but that's a lot of wood. And I'm talking about green um, aspen, you know, which is not the toughest hardwood, but it's certainly the most, one of the most awful ones to try and split in the summertime. It's wet, your axe is stuck in there most of the time. Well, there you have it. All in all, I am extremely impressed. Uh, as I said before, I've said many times, I've not really ever been sold on, on hydraulic splitters before. They were always seem to be slow and sometimes more work than they're worth. This is absolutely not that, and I am so impressed. I'm never, never gonna be without it again. It is so well built. It is reliable, it is durable. Functionality is there for me, for, for the way I want to be able to handle big wood and small wood and to be able to move it around and take it wherever I want to go. One of the strongest features though is one I haven't talked about and everybody's waiting, well, what's the price, what's the price? In many cases, this 27 ton is half the price of many other units. Many other units that don't have the, the quality and the reputation standing behind it that they have uh, at Range Road Enterprises. Check them out, range-road.ca. Tell them Rich sent you.